7, number 11. A physician ordered pin G potassium, that's penicillin, 5 million units in one liter of fluid to be delivered over 12 hours, Q12H, for seven days. The vial has been reconstituted with 11.5 milliliters of diluent. Okay, so let's look at our pieces of information. Um, 5 million units. in one liter of fluid to be given over 12 hours for seven days. So if it's over 12 hours, it's every 12 hours, so they're gonna take it twice a day. So I'm gonna put the BID on here also so we know that it's two bags like this. And the vial has been reconstituted with 11.5 milliliters of diluent. Now, one thing that I'm not crazy about that I really should uh, email my friend Elaine Beal about is that sometimes the questions she asks, you have to answer the questions farther down to get the answer to the first question. How many doses can be obtained from one vial of medication? Okay. Uh, this is a 20 million unit vial. So in this case, we could figure this one out. 20 million units. And it just says 20 million units. It doesn't give you all the zeros. So in that case, one thing we can do with these million units is we can take 20 and write MU for million units per vial. And then one dose is five million units. So now we're not writing all the zeros. Those six zeros are represented by MU and they cancel out. So it's 20 divided by five and that means you can get four doses in one vial. Is that making sense? Uh, it's sort of like saying, I have $20 million if my house is $5 million, how many houses can I buy? 20 divided by five is four. Or you can do the math with all the zeros. 20 million in one vial and one dose is five million. So this will give me doses per vial and I have 20 million divided by 5 million and it's still four doses okay so I would do this only if I'm dealing with whole round numbers like 20 and 5 but if I had something say like 20 million 600 thousand then I would write the whole thing out okay does that make sense yes give me some thumbs up there okay good. yes okay now, what is the day's supply from one vial? If they're getting four doses, how many are they? Remember, that's your total, four doses divided by the maximum amount per day. How many doses are they getting a day? Remember the BID up there? Yes, two. Two. So four divided by two is two days, right? So let me go ahead and write that. One day, they get two doses, and there's four doses in one vial. Four divided by two equals two days per vial, because the doses are going to cancel. What volume of medication should be added to each liter of fluid? That's kind of, um, kind of tricky. You added 11.5 milliliters of diluent, and then way down here in the corner of your label, in real small print, it tells you 
milliliters of diluent added, approximate units per milliliter of solution. Okay, so if you add, it basically tells you if you add 75 milliliters to the bottle, you're going to get 250,000 units per milliliter. And then the next one is 33 will give you 500,000. And 11.5 milliliters will give you 1 million units per milliliter. Okay, 1 million units per milliliter. So how many, what volume should be added to each liter? So remember you added the 11.5 milliliters of diluent, which is going to give you... Yeah, that's a million. One million units of medication per milliliter. So over here, one ml is one million units. And we want to give the patient five million units. Okay, per dose the units cancel. So you have 5 million divided by 1 million. It gives you 5 mLs should be added to the bag. And they're adding it to a 1 liter bag. And then, now this is something that, um, that nurses sometimes do as well as pharmacy technicians. What three pieces of information should be written on the vial at the time of reconstitution if it is to be saved for future doses? You got to look at the storage information. Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. After reconstitution, solution should be refrigerated. Discard unused solution after seven days. It's right here, right? So the one thing we want to put on there is what concentration we diluted it to. So we should put on there 1 million units per ml. That's the one thing. The second thing is how long or where are we storing it? Where did we say we were storing it? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. And how long is it good for? Seven days. Seven days, exactly. So you put your final concentration, where you're storing it, and how long it's good for. And those are the three pieces of information that uh, you have to put on there. And, and then let's say you come in tomorrow morning and you want to give this patient another million units. Um, in the bag and you take it out of the refrigerator, maybe you weren't there yesterday. Maybe you don't know exactly when it was reconstituted. So you have to have all that information to make sure it's still good. Okay, is that making sense?